5,500 square foot. There's like a little bug in there. It's a hot day in Penang and I am in Glugor, which is here right next to the Penang Bridge. We're about five kilometers away from the city center and we're in a beautiful residential neighborhood, which was actually created back in the 1960s. Hence the 1960s Circa house behind me, which I can't wait to show you around because there's so many little beautiful little nuances which make it truly 1960s. This four bedroom freehold property sits on 5,500 square foot land size with a build up of 4,000 square feet. It's a big place, it's a great size. I can't wait to show you around. I'm super excited, let's go. Everything about you the small nuances which really matter in a house of this particular age, 60 years. The things which I love is what you can possibly do to it. Now it's not a house that you rip down and tear down, it's a house you enhance and renovate. Have a look at this. So you've got these big doors here as well, they open perfectly out to a new lawn which you can create, so it's a great place for families and kids. I love that. Look at this. It's almost at a 45 degree angle. You don't see this anymore. It's really nice. And in the 60s, they combined it lots of different styles. What 60s house wouldn't be complete without its brick wall? And I was like a statue staring to the sun. Coming into the main part of the house, you've got your main lounge area here, through to your dining room with your kitchen at the back. Now off to the side here, you've kind of got either your reception area or your lounge study area or even kind of a daybreak room. But what I really love is two particular things. One is I love, I, you know, I love flooring. For me, I love the cross patchwork you get of this parquet floor, okay? If you rip it up, it'd be a terrible shame. And secondly, this type of floor in here as well, these small tiles, they've been there forever. They've been there for 60 years. I love it. And it goes all the way through the house. Instead of having the windows, you've got these small little louvres, which you would have seen probably in the house that you grew up in as well. So it's really nice, small touches. Kitchen at the back here and one small room downstairs. Now going upstairs, you forget how big these houses are. I just had to recount the rooms to see if I got it wrong. There's five rooms upstairs, five rooms. It's really big. And it's surprising how many rooms you can actually get into 4,000 square foot of space. You don't need a lipstick to kill someone with a smile. Is this another trick? So I'm in the backyard here, okay? Now, I just saw a couple of things I've got to draw your attention to. Remember this? They still have them in many kampongs as well. These are the kind of like, God, look how solid this is. This is the scrubber board where you used to wash your clothes, you know? Something like this to that effect. You used to get your clothes, rub them together, get out that dirt and grime. One more thing I've got to show you. I've got my socks on. The old ovens, look at this. Now, these are so much smaller in those days, even though the, probably the, fa the families were bigger. But look, you've kind of got, my mum used to have something similar to this as well. You've got this kind of like thick glass door which kind of kept the heat in as well. But look how small it was compared to what they're like now. You've got these kind of like, these blast doors here. You've kind of got like the little heater at the bottom there. And at the top, you've kind of got the, the old style grill. And on top, you'd have almost like the hot plates. Love it, it's really good. And the thing about houses like this is, you've really got the, you know, the charisma, the charm of that 1960s. And if you do buy this house as well, you've got to maintain and retain some of that class. Yeah.